I think people need to start using anger more. Most people are like, they cry over stuff. They're literally emotional creatures. They complain, they're complacent. They think it's okay to fail and give up. I think you need to start using anger more. Let me tell you a story. My mom and I, we went out for a run. She told me to be a man of my word and just stick to what you are preaching. You don't feel like going for a run. You're gonna fucking do it anyway. Stop being a little bitch. So anyways, she drives us down to the trail and we're about to get going. And I'm super sore. I had a leg day before. I was doing a bunch of squats. My legs were killing me. I felt like shit. I was not in the mood for doing any running. And this, what what we had prepared was a five mile run. Pretty long, but it's down from terrain. Really, really actually a pretty t miserable run. Above elevation and decline. It's basically a hike up and then down. But anyways, we're going and at the start of this run, I tell myself out loud, I say, I'm not going to stop running. And I'm a man of my word. I've seen these videos, I've seen these motivational videos. You never go fall back on your word. If you say something, your word is iron-willed. You always do exactly what you say. You're never, a, you're never a talker. You're always somebody who does it. Anyways, I never want to be a talker. I always do what I say. I think the quality of your life is depicted on how honest you are with yourself, the trust you have with your word. So I never, I never fall back on my word. I always do it. And this is a real test of my strength. I just said it. I didn't even know if I wanted to do it. I just said it because I wanted to start using my word more. I was like, do I really want to? Can I really actually do this? Can I run the whole time? Do I even want to do this? Is this even going to benefit me? I just say, fuck it. Use my word. I say, I'm not going to stop running. And I just think whatever I think has to be able to motivate myself. I need to motivate myself to get myself going. And all these models pop into my head, these little mental models that I have for to keep me running and there's this little bitch mindset I have that says you know it's okay to quit it's okay just stop running you know you made it this far it's acceptable for you to start walking no one's here to see you you're not even gonna be able to make it all the way you might as well just quit while you're ahead or you really think you're gonna make it and then I have to start thinking of this mindset what mindset is gonna get me through this and I think what was the best fuel for what's the best motivation was going to get me through this hard ass run and keep me true to my word and then it strikes me i need to get super fucking pissed off anger is an amazing force it is anger is an amazing fuel for your goals whenever whenever andrew tate was fighting when he was kickboxing he was angry at the world he was pissed off at his situation i, I remember watching his videos he said he saw the guy in the Aston Martin driving by with the hot girl in the car and that pissed him off because he saw himself as a superior he thought he could do anything he was putting a ton of effort into his life doing this kickboxing and he sees the guy in the car and that just pisses him off he uses his anger as fuel to motivate him David Goggins also the king of using anger as motivation David Goggins I, he gets pissed off at himself he gets angry, and that's what motivates him. So, I start thinking that way. I say, whatever, whatever it is, don't worry about yourself. Don't worry about anything else. Just get pissed the fuck off. And I start, I start thinking of stuff that's gonna piss me off. Like, you're in a crappy situation. You're a little bitch. You feel like giving up. Get pissed the fuck off. It's just whatever. I start thinking stuff that's gonna piss me off. All the haters I have, people thinking I'm a loser. It all comes up in my head and I get pissed off I start doing the heavy breathing fucking piss the fuck off and you know what I use that and I put it into my running I'm too pissed off to stop running and I realized whenever I'm quitting running whenever I felt like quitting running it was when I was in that weak state when I was complacent when I was like the opposite of angry and apathy moody you're like sad I can't stop running I can't feel bad for myself when I'm pissed off, when I'm fucking angry. Be perspicacious and realize there's a bunch of people doing cool shit that you're not a part of. There's people way more successful than you with way more money. There's absolute losers online posting video games, posting themselves playing video games with way more success than you. They have all of this fame, they're with all the attractive girls. 
They have way more than you. And that, that needs to piss you off. Because you work harder than these people, yet they have more than you. Get pissed off and use that to work harder. Use that as motivation. I feel like anything can be used as motivation. Because what else are you going to do with a feeling? If you have a feeling, what else are you going to use it for besides motivation? The worst feeling you can have is to be happy. Because then you're not getting anything done. When you're happy, you're complacent. The best feelings I feel like you can have are the negative ones, the unhappy ones, feeling depressed, feeling sad, feeling fear, anger, worry, because that's motivation. Your motivation is to get rid of that feeling. It's like self-destructive. The purpose of that feeling is to get rid of it. But when you're happy, you're complacent and you don't mind. When I'm training and wrestling, when I'm doing wrestling, when I'm wrestling people, when I'm working out, everything that requires discipline I'm using anger as my motivation. I don't, you don't see or some super hard athlete being all like happy, being like these soft people these days. They're, you see them grunting, they're pissed the fuck off when they're working hard. So anyways, back to my story about me running. I use that shit, I'm pissed the fuck off. I make fists, I get angry, I do the breathing. I start breathing pissed off. You know, it's like up and down. I might have scared some people if I posted that, but that's what I felt motivated, and that's when I'm working my best. I find myself working my hardest, my absolute peak, when I'm an angry person. The times you don't see me working hard is when I'm, when I'm this moody, sad, all right, complacent. When you're a man, it's okay to be happy for a short period of time. You make some money, it's okay to feel happy for like five seconds, and then you go back to work because you want to be proud and you don't become proud by being complacent and staying still and not putting in the effort. Yeah, I was running, I was pissed off and you know what? I, I completed my word. I stayed true to myself and I did not stop running. But I was motivated when I was pissed off. That's the point I'm trying to make. Get yourself pissed the fuck off if you're not already. See me yelling and criticizing you and calling you a fucking loser, get pissed off. I want you to get pissed off because that leads to action. People take action, they hold themselves accountable, they change their lives when they are angry. When you see people doing these grinding, when you see people grinding and changing their life, becoming successful people, they are angry, they are mad with their situation, they are unhappy, they are feeling negative emotions. Okay, thank you for watching this video.